Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to talk about playing in odd times, particularly a section for my book called Circular Grooves. Now, in this section, what we do is we set up an ostinato that's in 4-4 or 3-4, kind of a compound meter, and we play in odd times over that, most notably 5-8 and 7-8. Now, these exercises are located in the book, Advanced Coordination for Drum Set and Hand Percussion, from pages 42 to 47. So we're going to start today by talking about playing in 5-8. And we're going to start pretty simple. So if you go to page 46, and I'll post it on the screen here, I'll show you how to start. The first thing we're going to do is play these rhythms, numbers 1 through 24, just with eighth notes on the hi-hat. Now, I'm not going to go through all these rhythms because we have limited time today, but I'll go through some of them, and then I will go through all the rhythms when I play some more complicated ostinatos. But the goal here is to play a constant ostinato that will loop around every five beats. So if we put the metronome on 220 on eighth notes and we play the first couple exercises in five, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five. So you see there I'm playing very simple eighth notes on the hi-hat, nothing special, but I am playing at five. So that will be your first step to learning these. Of course, you could do it much slower than that if you want. A good starting tempo is probably about eighth note equals 190 to start these out with. Just make sure your hi-hat is even and you're relaxed, and you, you're going to have to repeat these many, many times. Now the next step is to start playing some of the ostinatos. So the first one I recommend working on um, is number five hi-hat ostinato. That will be on page 43, and you're going to do that with your right hand on the hi-hat, just doing this. One, two, three, four, five. So you see there, I'm playing it 4-4, and it's looping. So those upbeat hi-hat uh, opens come every other bar. And also, I'm not opening my foot too much on that open, and I'm playing the shaft on the open, so like this. So let's play through some of these at the same tempo. Eighth note equals 220. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the first line. Now I'll play through some more for you so you can get the idea, but that's how we're going to do that. You can also go and play the open hi-hats on the bell of the cymbal. And then you would do something with your hi-hat. So you do one of the foot hi-hat exercises. In that case, I just played page 45, number one, all upbeats. So let's try some of these with that open hi-hat pattern, and I'll play through uh, from line two all the way to the end. So exercise five to 24, I'll do each one four times. One, two, three, four, five.
So that's how that sounds with that pattern. Now, the next step would be going over to the cymbal and playing something with your hi-hat with your foot. So the easiest one to do would just be a splash pattern doing this. So that would be hi-hat with foot number two and just eighth notes on the cymbal. We'll try a little of that. Let's just do uh, start from uh, number nine. start getting pretty complicated here. So if we play uh, the hi-hat rhythm, which is number 12 on page 43, then we start getting into some physical issues with your right hand. So that looks like this. So again, that's turning around, as you can see here, every other bar. And then playing these exercises becomes more difficult because they're more noty. Why don't we start from number 13? One, two, three, four, five. So there I was playing them eight times and then four times. And that's the way I practice these. Sometimes I'll repeat them a lot. If they feel a little bit stressed, I'll do them a whole bunch of times. If I feel pretty good about everything, I'll play through the whole page at once. And that sounds like this. So that would be the penultimate moment of playing these things all the way through. Another way to practice them is to take like a text like Louis Belson's Odd Time Reading Text and just alternating those rhythms. There's a lot of odd time rhythms in there and you can play hand, foot, hand, foot. That's something I also do when I get bored with these rhythms. So now if we turn the page, we see we're in 7-8 and there's a lot more of these rhythms and they're more complex. So one, one ostinato I really like doing with my feet is a compound meter. So I'll play in three like this. So that's hi-hat foot pattern number seven. And then on your ride, you could just play eighth notes or something, or do this. What we just did on the hi-hat. But I'll play uh, eighth notes for now. Let me show you how this works. What I'll do is I'll put the metronome in seven, so I'll have a beep every seven clicks, and I'll play my hi-hat in three over that. So you see there I'm playing seven on top. So that's how all of these are going to work. Now we'll play eighth notes here and I'll just play the first line so you can hear that.
Now you probably see my lips moving there. I actually have to count these out and I suggest you do the same to make sure you're accurate. It's easy when you're playing compound meters. In other words, one part of the kit's playing in one meter and the other part of the kit's playing in another meter to lose track. That's what the metronome's for, but also count so it's embedded in your brain there. So I'll play some of these for you and um, we'll do um, maybe around 212 eighth note and we'll start at 17 and maybe do three or four lines. So again, listen for that 3-4 hi-hat. One, two, three, four, So there you have that. These are very syncopated, so they're pretty difficult. And you might not want to go this fast to start with, but repetition here is the key to success. So I'll play a little for you, and then we'll call it a day. Thanks.